Loyalty is an interesting topic. It's almost always viewed in the most positive way, and it should be. But it can be viewed, or it can also be negative if, if it's blind loyalty that's not returned. So when we started NetApp, we said, what are we trying to get from our customers? More than loyalty, we want to trust. People trust you. We sell things that they store their information on. So at the end of the day, they may think you have a better solution than somebody else, but if they don't trust that you'll be there, they're not going to go with you. Once you've gained that trust, now you have loyalty. So when I think of loyalty, I think I want someone on my team that's going to be there in good and bad times. They're not just there because they think your stock's going to run up. They think good things are going to happen from, from a title point of view. They're there because they believe in you. They believe in the company. And if you ever need them, you know if you turn around, they're behind you. That's loyalty. I look for that in my personal relationships. My best friends, you know, I'm, uh, I'm here in San Francisco today. I flew in from New York last night, and I'm leaving for Miami today. This was not the preferred route. <laughs> But I did it because I have a friend of mine whose 50th uh, birthday was last night. His brother reached out to me, family from China originally, from Taiwan, and they said it would mean a lot to him if you came. That's a simple example of doing something that is not that simple to do, but it's not that hard to do, and he'll remember the rest of his life. So I know that if I was on the other side of that, this gentleman would have been sitting there. So loyalty is a two-way street, and as long as it is, it's a spectacularly powerful emotion. It's something we should all want. It starts with trust, and then we have loyalty.